this graph that has been picking up pace since 2010 took an alarming turn around 2019, the same year COVID-19 pandemic had struck. The ascending line flattened and has not changed since. But what does the graph represent? And why should we care? The line charts the progress of the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. This set of 17 goals signed by the 193 UN member states is the one-way ticket to keep every development under check. From eradicating poverty to saving whales, SDG is considered the blueprint of an equitable world. According to the Sustainable Development Goal Report 2022, the world is no longer making progress on the SDGs for the second year in a row. The COVID-19 pandemic has wiped out six years of progress on the SDGs globally. The escalating conflicts and climate breakdowns are only adding fuel to the fire. But all is not lost yet. Globally, 17 trillion US dollars was mobilized for the COVID-19 recovery, mainly in rich countries. Yet, the question remains, till what extent do such recovery funds support SDG transformations? In a context of increased geopolitical rivalries and fragmented multilateralism, the SDGs remain the only comprehensive and universal vision for socio-economic prosperity and environmental sustainability. We have six parameters out of the 17 that the world can strategically push forward to make up for the lost years and to gain back the momentum. These are poverty, malnutrition, maternal mortality, education, sex ratio, and water and sanitation. If countries focus on these six of the 17 SDGs, they can turn the COVID-19 pandemic from a short-term crisis into long-term gains. The analysis compares three growth scenarios and confirms how better results can be achieved only with a strategic SDG push. Number one, no COVID-19 scenario describes economic growth without the impact of the pandemic. The baseline COVID-19 scenario represents significant pandemic period increases in poverty and hunger and substantial long-term negative consequences. SDG's push scenario outlines the impact of targeted policy interventions that can accelerate progress towards a fairer, resilient and green future. For example, poverty is one of the most predominant factors to tackle through SDGs. Bad enough, COVID-19 disrupted progress and pushed more people around the world into poverty and displacement. The rate of poverty was 9.6% at the start of 2020. Instead of decreasing it by 0.1% in a non-COVID scenario, it shot up to 11.9% by the end of the year. But an SDG push can bring it down as low as 6.9% by 2030, as compared to 8.4% if we let the situation continue as it is. And this goes for the rest of the parameters as well. So now the question is, where does India stand in all of this? According to the latest sustainability report, India ranks 121 among the total 163 nations in the SDG, with an overall score of 60.3. This is marginally better than Pakistan at 125, but worse than Bangladesh at 104. While the country made progress in climate action and responsible consumption of resources, the progress went down with sustainable city management. COVID had an impact on India as well. Current projections show almost 8% of children malnourished in 2050, and 10 out of 1,000 children will continue to die in 2050 
even with the SDG push. The only way forward is to strategically push SDGs to get back on track. The strategic implementation of SDGs is the bedrock of social inclusion, clean energy, responsible consumption and universal access to public services. In a multipolar world, SDGs is our only card to ensure worldwide dialogue and cooperation until 2030 and beyond.